Did you know you can create free AI narrated kid story like this? In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the exact steps I used to create that AI animated story, from generating consistent character prompts in ChatGPT to bringing it all to life using free tools. Let's dive right in. Open ChatGPT and paste in this prompt. The prompt will be in the description of this video, and I'll also pin it in the comments section. Note that there are important elements in the prompt, so let's go through them one by one. I want to generate an AI animated children's story titled The Curious Hat of Mr. Pumbleton. Make sure you include the title properly, but if you don't have any in mind, just label that part as random. Please provide a full scene-by-scene -scene script, including narration for each scene, a clearly written visual prompt for each scene, and a specific movement prompt for each scene. Then, go ahead and select any style of your choice. I chose to use whimsical 3D Pixar style. Maintain the exact costume, accessories, and physical details in every image prompt. Make sure Mr. Pumbleton's outfit remains the same across all scenes. This is really important since he is the main character, but you can choose to do that or not depending on your preference. You can also specify the number of actors you want or just leave it as random if you're unsure. Make sure to include this line. Give me a consistent image prompt for all the actors before you begin the main project. Though it's a kid's story, I don't need a child in this particular one, so I'll indicate that too. As you can see, we now have our consistent image prompt for all three actors. Go through and make sure everything looks the way you want. If not, make any adjustments you need. If you're okay with everything, just type yes or continue. ChatGPT will now generate the narration, image prompts for each scene, and movement prompts as we instructed. If you like the result, copy the image prompt for the first scene. Now, open a new tab and go to sora.chatgpt.com. Click on Got It to proceed. These are some sample images and videos that others have created using this tool. At this point, make sure the type is set to image, not video, and the aspect ratio should be 3 to 2 as it's the closest to 16 to 9, which is used in YouTube videos. Next, paste in your prompt. Now read through it and highlight all the parts that mention an actor or character's name and replace them with their consistent image prompts. Let's go back to ChatGPT, copy Mr. Pumbleton's image prompt, then come back and paste it here. Check if there are other characters. If yes, do the same for them. If not, proceed. You'll notice the request has now been added to the activity queue. Now click on My Media on the side panel. As you can see, our image is being generated. Just give it some time to complete. Now we have four results. Take a critical look at all of them and select the one that best fits the narrative. Once you decide which one to use, click the three dots and select Download. Then give it any name you want. Let me quickly take you through the second scene. Don't forget to paste in all the actor's consistent image prompts. Hit enter when you're done. Go through the results and select the one that fits best. Now, repeat this process for all the scenes. Open another tab and go to aistudio.google.com. We're going to use this site to animate our video using Google's VAO2 model, which is completely free on this platform. If you don't see this interface, go to the sidebar and click on Generate Media. Now, select VAO on this page. On the right side of your screen, set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9, or any other preferred format, and set the duration for each scene. You'll need to allow one-time Google Drive access then, click to upload the image you created for the story. 
I created only four scenes for this tutorial. Look for scene one, copy its movement prompt, then come back and paste it. Click on Run when you're done. Although you can use this platform to generate images, I prefer to use other tools when it comes to story-based visuals. As you can see, we now have our result. If you're happy with it, go ahead and download. If not, regenerate it. Give your video any name you like and click Save. Now click here to delete the image and also delete the movement prompt. Then proceed to upload the next one. Sometimes you may get an error pop-up when generating the video. Feel free to try again until it works. Now, click Generate Media again, but this time select Google Speech Generation. Choose Single Speaker, then go through and select a suitable voice for your narration. Head back to ChatGPT and copy the full narration script. Then come back and paste everything here. When you're ready, click Run. In the bustling cobblestone town of Wimblewick, Mr. Pumbleton opened his peculiar little shop every morning. If you're satisfied with the result, download it and give it any name, then hit Save. Now open any editing software of your choice. I'll be using CapCut for this tutorial since I'm not an expert in video editing. Import all the videos and narration files into your timeline and arrange them in a way that fits best. Adjust the video speed so it syncs well, then add transition effects wherever needed. Click on Audio to add sound effects and background music that match the mood of the video. Now, let's play and see how the final result the looks. In the bustling cobblestone town of Wimblewick, Mr. Pumbleton opened his peculiar little shop every morning at precisely 7.07 a.m. Today, however, something strange was happening inside his hat. Just as Mr. Pumbleton puzzled over his hat, the shop door burst open and in marched Miss Thistlebaum, the town's expert in peculiar magical occurrences. Without warning, the hat sprang to life, spinning in mid-air and launching a shower of confetti shaped like tiny bunnies. Within minutes, the noise had attracted Inspector Blunderby, who always suspected Mr. Pumbleton's hats were more than just millinery. And that's it. You've just created your own AI-animated children's story using ChatGPT and Google Veo 2. You can continue by adding captions to your video and make further adjustments until you're completely satisfied with the result. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more easy-to-follow AI content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.